Hello everybody, it's Lurgs here. Welcome to my channel. I'm here to save you time and money. And today, it's the Volkswagen T5 Transporter, the beast. How to replace the front indicator bulb. Right, let's get cracking. This is the front indicator bulb that we're going to be replacing here and it's the same procedure for both sides. Now you might be replacing this because the orange glass has faded over time or actually the bulb has blown. What you're going to need is you're going to need an orange glass bulb which is 12 volts and 21 watts make sure you get a good quality bulb now the first thing you need to do is open the bonnet or the hood and there's a link above now about how to do that and the front indicator bulb is just in here and it's just behind this rubber casing here so what we need to do is just pull this off this is soft flexible cover and there we go so let's just have a look inside here now you've got two bulbs in here the one at the bottom is the daytime running lights we're not interested in that one the indicator bulb is the one at the top and just make a note of how it's sitting in there for when you put it back in now it's really hard to see that but what I'll do is I'll just wiggle it and then look at the front just to make sure you've definitely got the right bulb so what you do is you just turn it anti-clockwise a tiny bit and then just pull it out and there's a link above now about the fuse box locations and how to check the fuses on this Volkswagen T5 and you can see there that's where we've pulled it out okay so to remove the bulb just push it down and twist it anti-clockwise very slightly probably about 10 degrees 20 degrees and then just lift it out and there we go and we've just got parallel pins on this bulb nothing fancy and it's just an orange glass bulb 12 volts and 21 watts so take your new bulb now I'm wearing a glove here which is just force of habit you don't actually need to wear a glove but it does help not to get oily smudges on the glass especially if you're using halogen bulbs it's not so important on these ones now to put it in just push it down and then twist it clockwise again 10 to 20 degrees and it just locks in and there we go now we need to get this whole housing back into the headlight housing and there's a link above now about how to replace the battery on this Volkswagen T5 I found the easiest way to do it is to look at it from the front but do it from the back so don't try and get your head in the engine bay just look at it from the front and you've got three little divots there just line those up with the three gaps push it through and then you're just twisting it just to lock it into place whilst I'm doing that there's a link above now about how to reset the service light on this van if you're going to be doing your own servicing And there we go it's locked in if you're not sure you've got it the right way in then just go and have a quick look on the other side of the van at the other indicator bulb let's just put the indicator on and make sure it's working which it is superb remember to put the rubber housing back on the back this just stops any dampness getting into the bulbs and the electronics this is really easy it does it just pushes on just make sure it's pushed on all the way around and there's a link above now about how to replace the pollen filter on this Volkswagen T5 it's really important to change that probably every year then it's time to say thank you to my glove so a quick handshake and as these are modern times quick fist bump and a high five and another high five ah oh. and after all that hard work it is definitely time for a lovely cup of tea oh let's go for a quick drive if you found that video useful please subscribe by pressing the button in the bottom right hand corner if there's any other videos around here which could be useful to you then you can select those now thank you for visiting my channel everyone i really do appreciate it